Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scare Soldier bringing another Borderlands 3 video. And in today's video, I wanted to show you how to have a whole bunch of fun with your boy Zane. Now, obviously with the best build in the game being the run and gun build that I showed on my last video, you guys are having all your fun, you guys are doing a lot of damage, but if you want to have even more fun and you guys haven't tried it yet, because some of you have, try the Sidorak. So, if you see down below, the bonus is really quickly. You have the 22% weapon damage when depleted, 10% fire rate when depleted, 10% movement speed when depleted. That's why the running gun is super important. And then with the special anointment of while Sentinel's active movement speed is increased by 15%. Now, you can have the level 51, but I recommend the level 5 right over here. I have it as well. The reason being is because as you see, the capacity is extremely low. So basically every single time you take one shot, by any enemy on Mayhem 4, it will break the shield. And every time you break the shield, the bonuses that you saw down below will stack. For those who don't know what stacking means, um, for example, if you break the shield, you'll get 10% fire rate bonus when depleted. If it breaks again, you'll get another 10% on top of that 10%, so 20%. So every time your shield breaks, you're getting an extra 10% fire rate. Eventually, it caps off, and then once you reach the maximum stacking ability of the Sidorak, and you, you, uh, you get your shield broken one more time, it will cause you to lose all your stacks, unfortunately. But again, with the level 5, you get your stacks up really quickly. Now, in this gameplay right over here, guys, you will see me fully stacked with the Sidorak. As you see, I'm moving like an absolute crack monkey right now. Zane is moving extremely fast. This video is not sped up, by the way. Um, trust me, guys. You see the movement speed is all stacked up. My fire rate, I'm shooting insanely fast. And again, I'm getting that extra bonus 22% damage stacked on top of all of that. So you see, you just create an absolute god with Zane. He's just an absolute melting machine. And it's a lot of fun because, you know, with everything else in the game going on, we, we kind of know all the ins and outs of the Malinwan takedown. It's nothing new. But if you want to have a little more fun with Zane and move like a insane crack monkey... This is what you want to do. You want to have your Sidorak. And in this video, you see now, I am fully, fully stacked with the Sidorak. That's why you see I'm doing insane amount of damage with everything. I'm going through this as fast as possible in this gameplay. Just to show you how quickly you can get through the takedown. Just by using this setup. And you can even get through a little faster. Um, for those who are trying to farm it and whatever. So as I mentioned below. Uh, not below, but before anyways was that the only downside is that you have a possibility of losing your stacks once you reach your maximum capacity of stacks possible by simply having your shield broken one final time. Um, but again, have no fear. If you guys do have the level 5 Sidorak, again, your stacks will come back extremely fast. Now, me, my boy, Gorchop, and MB, shout out to those guys. Those guys are like my best friends right now in, the, in the Borderlands 3. We always play together. Um, we've been trying this out quite a bit. And again... You have to have the artifact of the icebreaker in order for the stacks to work. Um, that's one of the only artifacts that it works with. So that's just an FYI. If you guys do choose to use the level 5 or the level 50 Sidorak, make sure you guys have the icebreaker victory rush um, equipped as your artifact in order to get the stacking bonuses of the Sidorak. Um, if you guys don't have this artifact, I suggest you farm for it or get it somehow because if you don't have it, the stacks may not work for you. The other thing too is that if you decide to switch your shield midway, so let's say you want to take off the, the Sidorak and put the stopgap on, it's going to take away all your stacks as well. So just be careful of those things, guys. But again, this is an extremely powerful, extremely powerful build. Um, essentially, the running gun build by itself is amazing and then you getting all these super super insane bonuses with the Sidorak. Now, normally, if you notice, the redistributor, as I mentioned in the last video, is more of a weapon that deals with mobs and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? The mobs and chaining enemies and whatever. But when it comes to shooting individual enemies, this gun, eh, is it's so-so. You know, it's, it's not so much damage, you know what I mean? As Moxie says, quote-unquote. But once you get a mob together, that thing absolutely fries, right? With these stacks, you will notice it does not matter if there's one enemy, if there's a half an enemy, a quarter of an enemy. This will absolutely shred them, as you see in the gameplay right here. I mean, everything is right in the is right in the pudding. It's, it's proof is in the pudding. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that out the way. 
the most important thing that I do want to show you guys too is the fact you're going to see this Wotan fight in a second. <laughs> oh my god, let me tell you. I don't I, I normally use cutsmans, right? But when you're stacked this heavily, pff, you can use literally anything. Now, again, like I said, the redistributor is a chain kind of weapon. Now, if there's no enemies to chain, it's not going to do that much damage, right? But you're going to see how much damage it's going to do against Wotan by itself. Just with the redistributor. That's why I want you guys to try it because it's just a whole lot of fun. It's nothing really new. There are people who already know about this kind of stuff. Um, like when the Brawler Ward glitch came out and Moe's was just kind of jumping off the map or uh, doing self-damage to her. And she kept breaking her shield with the Blood Letter. It would make her Blood Letter shield insane. And it would make her, um, her um, whatchamacallit, the, the Face Puncher do a hell of a lot of damage like over millions and millions of damage with the base puncher and then they decided to nerf that and or do some magic to that and the brawler ward wasn't always doing what it was supposed to do some people found ways around it and jumping off the map to make it work whatever whatever but now it's a Sidorax time around so i would suggest you guys have a lot of fun using this and farming the mountain i want to take down if you guys are missing anything that you want and to use this strategy because it's going to help you get through it extremely, extremely fast. As you see, my fire rate is absolutely insane. I get through a clip of 49 in like literally two seconds. So, yeah, just that. Now, when it comes to ammo, yeah, you're going to be going through ammo like a madman. So, every time you go by um, an ammo station, definitely refill your ammo to the max because, trust me, you're just spitting out bullets with the redistributor. Um, and never mind the MP5. The MP5 just literally, it's like... Pfft, the bullets are gone like as soon as you touch the trigger all the bullets are gone from that one especially if the times two it's over so that's all i really wanted to touch on guys my next thing coming up is actually i've been working on an invincible build with zane so far not so good because again he's not like a mose i was trying to do like a big big boy shield with zane but unfortunately some of the health of the shield regen stuff is not really working for me because i also have the um the one shot shield with the triple amp damage and supposedly you're supposed to have minus 100% delay, so there shouldn't be a delay, but tech there's still like a two second delay for whatever reason. Um, but it hasn't really been working for me that much. So I don't know what's going on in that scenario. I think they need to run fix right now. that. Speed. But other than that, guys, this is the this is the main part I really want to show you how insane the Sidorak is. So keep in mind that Redistributor is not supposed to be good against single target enemies in terms of damage, not so much damage. So let's see what it does. You're going to see for the shield, I'm going to throw out my cutspin one time. And then I'm, I'm going to realize, oh shit, I'm so stacked. Let me pull out my freaking redistributor. Look at the damage. That was one mag of my redistributor. Absolutely fried his health. Okay? Now, I want you guys to try that without a Sidorak. And it's not going to do the same at all. Look how fast I'm moving. Look how fast I'm strafing. It's insane, guys. That's why I really want you and emphasize to try this out. Some of my boys, some of my uh, my followers on my streams and all that stuff, they already know what this is all about. Um, but there's people out there who don't. So this is why I wanted to show you guys what this is all about. Just uh, also in, uh, some new information on the channel. We have created a Twitch um, at Scare Soldier. So it's just capital S Scare and then capital S Soldier. That's it. You can look me up on Twitch. I stream... 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, all the way up to maybe 1, 1, 8, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And then maybe after that, I do a little more. But I am on Twitch now, guys, officially. Um, and I wanted to say thank you to all who have been supporting the stream. Um, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for all of that. So that's it, guys. As you saw the gameplay, it speaks for itself, man. We killed Wotan in like seven minutes. I mean, I know that's not the record or anything, but we weren't using the Nukem or nothing. We are just using a redistributor, and we did this in like seven minutes. So, yeah, just to show you um, an idea of how powerful this is. So thank you guys so much. Here's the build real quick. We are in Mayhem 4. Absolutely fried this as usual. I hope you're having fun with the Sidorak, guys. Thank you for watching. It's your boy, Scarce. We'll just sign out. Peace.